Uh, some of the features of SharePoint that are really cool is uh, you can go ahead and create blogs within the SharePoint site. So depending on the size of your business and your needs, that may or may not be a big issue to you. But it's certainly a great communication tool and it's a way to share information really, really quickly. Uh, also, there is a community Wikipedia or Wiki as it's called. And that, that allows you to kind of work as a group and edit things as a group and, and add information, remove information, so forth in the company, your company's Wiki. Um, you can also manage the, the metadata, or metadata means the information about the information. And you can manage that through SharePoint services. Uh, things about, uh, oh, uh, uh, the things that are maybe different files that are managed by Excel or, or Word and that kind of thing. And all that can be categorized on that level. Um, there's also a, a way to look at your information. It's called a, a Gantt chart. And that Gantt chart uh, view, uh, is, you can look at, you know, your tasks, issues, and projects with the, with the, the Gantt chart, which a Gantt chart is, uh, if you're not familiar with it, uh, basically uh, they use, use the <coughs> excuse me, a lot in project management, but it's kind of like a timeline and the task has done this and then we expect this. So it's different kind of bars, that, overlapping bars that has to deal with, with time and uh, the progress of a, uh, a project. There's also what's called workspaces in there. Now workspaces is a way for a, a group of people to go in and collaborate separately from maybe the rest of the team. Uh, in there you can have different documents and, and that kind of thing in your, your workspaces. So that's a very, very nice thing to have. You can also create discussions in there. Maybe you've got a sales department and they're sharing you know, selling techniques or that kind of thing. It's kind of it's like online form or bulletin board is what it really is. It's called a discussion list. You can also create calendars. You can, you can create different sites underneath your main SharePoint site <coughs> for different teams. And there can be calendars on there that the team can access and use and say, okay, what's, you know, Jim and John and Karen and everybody up to? And that's a kind of a community calendar. And by the way, that integrates nicely with Microsoft Outlook. So um, you don't necessarily even have to be logged into the SharePoint site to see what's going on in the team calendar. Um, people and groups. You can basically categorize people into different groups. You can give them different permissions on what they can and cannot do in SharePoint, what they can and cannot see. Uh, in there based on the permissions of the group or their membership of the group. Uh, it's a very easy to navigate a SharePoint site. They use uh, breadcrumbs. If, you're, if you've seen Vista, uh, it's kind of an easy way to navigate <coughs> excuse me, around. A, a new feature in, uh, sh uh, the, or I shouldn't say new feature, but something that's been really greatly enhanced is called presence awareness. And that kind of helps you can tell when a particular team member is online and available, <coughs> excuse me, and when they're not. And then finally, uh, another big feature is how well SharePoint integrates with Microsoft Office. Uh, and it, it does so very nicely where you can check documents in, edit them, check them, uh, or check them out, edit them, check them back in. Uh, people can collaborate on that document, mark it up as a team. And there's a thing called versioning control on there. So as you make revisions, there's actual revision numbers. And if you don't like a change that's been done to the document, you can revert back to a prior version of the document. Uh, and that's very, very nice. <coughs> um, Document libraries can be taken offline. Essentially, you can link your document libraries uh, to Microsoft Outlook, and uh, you'll have the copies of those documents that if you need to work on, you just go to that team folder, uh, make your edits and your changes, and then it'll all synchronize when you get reconnected to your network. And that's a really, really great feature. There's uh, RSS feeds uh, that you can put up to it. Uh, I have my SharePoint set up whenever there's a change to a document library. I actually can get an email, and that's part of uh, 
uh, what's called a workflow, and we'll discuss that. <coughs> excuse me, in a little bit. Uh, there, like I said, there is uh, there is uh, mobility uh, available with the product. Uh, you can use it with Windows Mobile, uh, different uh, mobile devices, laptops. Um, as I said, there's alerts and event notifications that uh, that you can get as part, and you can set that up and do some really neat stuff with that based on your uh, your workflows that you create. Now, <clears throat> any system like this is going to house your company data. Um, has got to be secure. At the end of the day, uh, if you've got to know that you've got to be able to feel good about where your data is and, and what's going on with that. And so Microsoft's done a real nice job <coughs> securing your SharePoint site. And for one thing, there's actually a two-stage site a recycle bin. So if a user has the permissions to delete a file as an administrator, you, you, you can actually uh, undelete that if you need to. Uh, there's folder uh, level access control there's item level access control and that can be based on the permissions that you set up in SharePoint. And uh, if they, only a member of a certain or only certain members of a group are allowed to look at a particular item or a, a certain group, then that means if I don't have those permissions, I'm simply, that document's not going to be available for me to look at. Wouldn't even know it's there. Uh, there is policy audit and compliance reporting features and uh, including rights management policies. A lot of super good techy stuff, but it's basically meant to assure you that your SharePoint site is secure and only people or people can only do what you want them to do. Uh, as I said before, there is check-in and check-out of documents. There's versioning control with documents. Uh, so you can easily revert back to a prior version of a document. And a lot of businesses are very paperwork intensive. And a, a document can be handled by many, many different people in your company. Uh, and so uh, if people have the ability to edit and make changes to the document, uh, that document become, could become really a lot different than the original version. And maybe something will be added that you, know, that you don't need or, the, or so forth. So, all that, uh, the ability to control that is built into SharePoint. 